so all of this is explained there's no reason to hunt him down because he can't do anything about it his troops are stuck we could have called or tried to call him with 600 troops but he's likely to decline so it doesn't really matter and we're strong enough to fight our walls anyway without our vassal here and our truce should be done soon as well as you see they're doing their job they've abandoned their siege to go and fight the enemy army before they can wreak any sort of havoc and they have the numerical advantage by quite a large margin so this is a no-brainer for our good good allies and friends Ooh, our hill fort has been built Lovely, and we could even get it to the next level immediately too, which honestly we're going to do. There's no reason not to do it. We have the money right now. So let's begin the siege before they can go back and siege it. So we get all the good money. So we're leading troops, but my wife is pregnant. Fishy, suspicious. Something is up there. Something isn't right. Now he's still trying to regroup. But our allies are just going to cut him off every time he tries to go somewhere. It's not much he can do. Well, we can't be sure, so let's, let's find out who might be the father of our supposed child while we were waging war to expand our realm five more years and then we're going to finish this little piece here he's hating me so hard well you can't be everybody's darling all right okay we didn't find anything so she it's probably ours So the siege was successful and his army is moving around again. So we're just joining in the last possible second to get some of that glory here. But we're going to keep sieging until we're at 100%, which is soon. Very soon. Probably the next siege, once it's done, we will be finished with this little campaign here. How many sons does he have? Not a single one. He has only female siblings, mainly. So his realm is not going to splinter. Actually, it didn't splinter when his father died. Or his father died. That's quite impressive. He's going to be a strong one, because we're going to lose quite a bit of power and force once our brothers... The brothers of our heir take over. Oh, we got a new... Oh, we got twins. That's great. That sometimes happens. Right, we won this. So, let's enforce our demands. Which he has to take. It's not like he has a choice here. So, we got twins. Which is a modifier in itself. It doesn't give anything. But it's interesting. So, let's give them some education. Duty. And you shall be well worse in etiquette. Now let's see what type of uh, alliances we can secure here. The Welsh. Let's have some Welsh alliances. And you, my dear. Anglo-Saxon. Let's get something higher, Anglo-Saxon, maybe.
Uh, let's get him. Why not? They're not the greatest allies in the land, but an ally is an ally. So now we're back waiting for troops to replenish. We could choose another focus for a while. Uh, but we're actually not gonna. Let's check all the pacts, the non-aggression pacts that might become an alliance and turn them into the, such. It's only these two who are now our allies. So we're looking pretty good again on the who is going to help us win our wars front. So all of these... Well, we could even go there and export, extort tribute from him. <laughs> well, we have taken the biggest players out. So everyone around us is now a reluctant ally of us. At least until we die. Then all of this stops and they become free to reign as they see fit again. So we have a courtier who likes us, eh? Nah. Not appropriate. Husband of one of our commanders. And there we go. Our son has a daughter. Our granddaughter. Let's see. Who can she marry? Someone good. Breton. Is that not also somewhere here on the island? Yeah. So let's, let's that be our thing. Maybe. Um, granddaughter? Go for... Some Bratton dude. This guy. Alright, we got some... Holy warriors. That are willing to fight for us. Um, <laughs> what do we do with those? Well, I guess that's something we could do with those. All oh, right, um, I can't. I need to stand down my troops. Then we declare war to extort tribute from him. Then we raise our troops. And then we go in. Swords drawn. Also, isn't our son really good at war? No. What is you? How are you not really good at war? Okay, he's not really good at war, but he needs to become really good at war. So we're going to make him our commander and lead some troops. And maybe he dies. <laughs> so let's put him on the front line with a retinue troop. So maybe we get a better, better guy down the line. So let's have more alliances. So you can try to flee, but he's not going to get out in time. So his troops are going to be shattered. Yes, I am sick of always being kind to everyone. So we lost this trade. We are a warrior through and through. Okay, I'm going to demonstrate the attempt assault. It's just going to go real quick, but we are also losing quite a bit of men. So if you just want to be over and done with it, it's fine. But wait until the defenses are a little bit lower. Otherwise, it's just going to hurt. And troops aren't super easily replaced. He's killing our vassal's retinue. <laughs> Oops, such a shame. Okay, let's go kick him. We could already end it, but I want to have a chance of my son dying. So, we're going to cross a river to attack. And then we're going to... Yeah, he wants to sue for peace. No, 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 no. We need to win one more time, my friend. Alright. Good. He would like to surrender. I accept... You are hereby surrendered. And this 
tells us our truce is expiring, so this guy is up next for grabs. We have built a shell of people who can't decline us our wishes. They're doing really well. Alright, let's have this marriage going with our other son. Doesn't he have the genius wife? Someone had a genius wife. Yeah, it's our heir. Is she a genius? No, she's not. Yes, do let us talk strategy, my friend. All right, the truce. Has it expired? No. What truce was about to expire? Maybe with him? I don't rightly know. Alright, he liked us. So... No one wants to be our vassal. Can't even offer it to them. Well, we could release him. But we don't have any claims on his stuff, so it doesn't really matter. Releasing him. Let's see, what is this? It's all of this part. Maybe let's go get a claim on this. So we don't fracture too hard in the duchies we're taking. Right, okay. I'd only managed to remember one of my many spells and invocations the voice had whispered to me in the dark. It was long and complicated with many different ingredients, not all easy to acquire. So we could try this, but there's a 33% chance of becoming possessed, which can be fun. Well... Let's go this route. Did we become possessed? No. But we're lunatic and paranoid, so this is probably not the best basis for rulership as it is. So who, who else could we make our tributary where it's kind of worth it? This guy. Or even the English. He's not really worth it. So we're doing well on most fronts. We're not building anything right now. And something that is important is most of our manpower comes from these buildings. So concentrating where we build our manpower is very important because that way we guarantee ourselves a lot of troops even if we lose some of the area due to succession they're going to be weakened but we can offset it a bit by increasing our armies so why can't i not build does not have government type why can't i build another tribal one probably can only have one so we want to increase the levy and garrison size or we go for something that will upgrade it later but let's go for this first really and let's soldier on journey on Right, we have an issue with all our vassals kind of hating us and no one paying taxes anymore. We would be very poor without our tributaries. Okay. Uh, 
Uh, no, my wife does not get to decide on our court. Okay, so now, since our people aren't really all that happy... They're not our friends. Let's see if we missed someone at a court position. Not really. Well, they're not friendly enough. So what we're going to do is we're going to switch our focus to carousing. Which allows us to invite people to feasts, which give us the potential of them becoming our friends. We're good enough at war as it is, so no need for this anymore. And we're young enough to make still something out of this. So we're going to invite him. It doesn't work on all characters. And we only really want the guys that we need to be our friends. So our whole vassalage is going to be coming carousing. So we can make friends with them and get some taxes again. So he agreed. He agreed too. He didn't agree. He also didn't agree. So we have two guys coming to our carousal. And already that give, gives us some taxes back. All right, uh, she needs some education. She will become an intriguer, a schemer. And carousing is something you can only do during peacetime. It starts event chains, which again allows you to pick some traits and things. And it gives a little bit of monthly prestige as well. All right, an army of warriors has come up. <laughs> so, um... Yeah. What do we do with them? I suppose it's time to raid again. Let's use them for that. And we declare once we're done with carousing. We shall declare war then. For now, let us just destroy everything there is here and take everything there is here. And then we're going to make everyone else our tributary. Alright, our feast shall start now. The abbot of the nearby monastery has asked you to make a donation towards the repairs of the monastery church. Surely it wouldn't hurt to ensure that you are in the monk's prayers? Well, okay, we can lose some gold, gain some piety. It's fine by me. Alright. It's, uh, it's great to spend time carousing in merry company. While the cups are being refilled, Bishop Fingling brings out... A strange board with a little decorated pieces, explaining that it's a kind of strategy game. He assures me that it's a great pastime that combines well with copious amounts of drink. So let's play for honor. We played for hours, the tides of fortune ebbing and flowing as I tried to attack my opponent's positions without opening my defense too much. Eventually, however, I made a fatal mistake that my opponent exploited and I lost the game. I didn't lose anything, just the game. It's fine. So the feast is still ongoing and it is now done so everyone's kind of happy it was fun let's see well we got one guy to pay up again i could probably pay this guy to pay up too uh one thing that we could do about this is appoint them successors that like us more so we could also appoint our kids, our sons, to be their successors because that takes them out of the line of succession. They may not inherit if they are the successor of a bishop. So to prevent our realm from splintering, we could take this son here, who's really good at stewardship, and make him become a bishop. So let's do that. 
Let's take this guy out of the running. For... Well, he's still in the running. Well, no, he's not. Now, we, we are not going to spend gold to increase his opinion of us. That's not, that's not how this works. Yeah, let's, let's tell him how cool we are. That has worked in the past. People are really impressed by how cool we are. Ah, he doesn't understand how cool we are. <laughs> Which is clearly a big, big shame. Alright, so let's loot the last pieces and bits. Because soon it is war between our people again. People are plotting to kill me. Well, that's fine. So we turn off this. So no troops here. And now we declare war just so our... Who are you at war with? And for what? Hmm. All right, let's go take him out then. Let's leave this guy to his stuff and things. So we just want the warriors to not get upset. So we give them a war. And we're going to go across the sea. And again, we're going to have our son... Our heir commands something stupid, which he's still doing. So there's a chance he might die. Now these trade crossings, they don't require boats. Everything else does require boats, so we couldn't go to France. Well, not without any difficulty anyway. So he, deprived of a way to just cross here, is going to walk all the way around here. Trying to get into our lands, which we don't mind. We have encountered attrition because there's a supply limit, but also there's a certain baseline of attrition that is just going to happen in enemy territory. A granddaughter. Lovely. Let's have a look at her. She is a genius. There we go. So she will only marry Matrenenea. Which means that anyone, any of her offspring, is going to be of my dynasty still. So, which increases our chances of having more geniuses. Which is always good. So, let's find another genius, maybe. Well, there's none. Maybe we find someone who's quick. Nope. Maybe we find someone who's strong. Nope. Attractive. No. Nope. Okay. Well, that's fine by me. We're just going to find anyone. Who maybe is from around here? Welch? Uh, yeah, let's take the Welch kid here. Still might give us an alliance. Yep, does. And we're of course taking it. So we haven't been called into any war in a while, which is nice. And there he pops up. Someone died. So let's see. Court chaplain isn't all that important of a position, really. So we might as well give it to someone who isn't super suited for it. But maybe increase his opinion of us. There's no one to convert. Let's have him build some zeal. Good enough. Does he pay taxes now? Nope. He does not. Actually, our enemy is kind of... Well, okay. He was failing there for a moment. But that's all fine. He didn't really get a choice there. So our troops were despondent now because they had their war for which they came. So they weren't wasted. Not entirely at least. Someone needs help deciding to be something. Alright, let's stand down our troops. 
so we don't lose anything that we might want not to lose. Let's check our laws. Now, going feudal early on could be sensible, could also not be sensible, because tribes do field a lot of troops and switching to feudal before we have everything really built up here is going to make things a little bit difficult for us. So we're not actually going to go rush toward feudal. Not now, anyway. So let's get even more troops out of our tribal levies. Maybe our council will vote in favor. I didn't check because I forgot that we need to talk to the council now. Um, yeah, we'll see. We'll see how they decide. Most of these are clergymen, so... I do assume they might be more on my side. He's already liking me, so we don't need to sway him. Let's let's start swaying this guy. All right, what I was saying earlier, they have rejected it. Okay, fine. What I was saying earlier, you want to have one powerful demands which you can't lose in case of succession. That is what you want. And also you want to put up all your heirs as bishops so they don't inherit anything. That's how you do it in medieval times. <laughs>